Hi everyone, welcome to the Foam Frontier. Today I'm going to be reviewing another Busby product for you today, and this is another cool product that I really enjoyed. Um, it's called the Busby Extreme Blast Bazooka. And as you can tell from the name and its look, it's a bazooka. Um, it's a small bazooka, it's supposed to be shoulder mounted based on the design. There's a little shoulder pad here. Since I'm a little bit bigger than, a, than the average Busby customer, um, I shoulder it on this, um, and it's shaped pretty well for that. If you wanted to wrap that, it would probably be a little softer. Um, basically, the blaster is really well made. It's compact and small, but it works well. It has some uh, attachment points for a lanyard or uh, anything you want to attach to that to strap it on to your back while you're running around. Um, and you fire simply by hitting this huge orange button on the top, uh, so you can't miss the trigger at all. Um, it comes with these two Busby brand um, missiles, and I, I haven't seen any refill packs for the Busby brand ones, and for the first day or so, these were working great when I was messing around and playing with it, and then very quickly, they started shooting uh, like half the distance, and I couldn't figure out why for a while. And then I found that they had split down the middle, where the tape is, is where the two types of foam intersect and are just simply glued together. Um, and that glue breaks very quickly, and eventually the darts just are unfireable. I tried to tape them, I tried to super glue them back together, and nothing really seemed to work. Um, and that happened very quickly for at, at least one of them. I think the second day the first one broke, and then the third or fourth day the, the second one broke. So what I did to replace those is I made sure online from some other people who bought this blaster that the Nerf missiles actually work with it. These are the missiles designed to work with the Nerf Demolisher underslung uh, rocket launcher sort of thing. And they totally work. They fit very well. Um, and they even match with the same orange color. Uh, the only thing that I found with my blaster in particular, the um, peg for the missile points down a little bit on mine. So when it comes out, it shoots downwards a little bit. But you can fix that if that happens by angling it the opposite way. I flip mine over and then it shoots upwards. So, problem solved. Uh, the Nerf missiles come in packs of three for, I think, six dollars, depending on where you get them. So they can be a little bit pricey uh, for refills. But uh, with the blaster being only ten dollars, I think that's totally worth it. Um, to fire the blaster, you just pump it up. Uh, I pump this up maybe ten times usually to get a full pump. but uh, you either pump it up and then load it, or load it, pump it up, and, and uh, shoulder mount and fire. Um, that leads really well into the firing test, so I'll fire just the Nerf missiles since the Busby ones don't really work anymore. I'm going to be shooting the uh, Busby Blast Zooka here, and I'm going to uh, be shooting two Nerf missiles out of it at 10 pumps each, and to combat the way the Nerf missiles sort of bend downwards because of how they fit into my particular blaster, I'm going to flip it upside down and shoot it parallel, uh, like shoot it off my shoulder um, at 10 pumps. So that went way off to the left, but it went, I don't know, I want to say uh, around 30-ish feet, probably a little more than that. And here's the second one. So now the most important part of the video, should you buy the Blast Zooka from Busby? I think you should, um, especially if it's the same price everywhere. Um, I found it for $10 at my Walmart, and since it was only $10, I didn't really feel guilty about buying it. It was just, you know, it was a little cheap grab for me, and uh, picking, up, picking up the Nerf missiles was an unforeseen expense that I felt a little bit bad about, but if you know going into it that you might need a, a refill pack of the Nerf missiles, then uh, you know you're going to be spending maybe 16 or so dollars on this blaster, and I still think it's worth it, especially if you're getting it for uh, your kid or your cousin or something like that, your niece or nephew getting a cool um, blaster for them to play around with. Uh, and it's definitely a more intimidating blaster since you're shooting these huge missiles instead of a normal little dart.
Um, so I definitely think it's worth the $10, and I'm totally going to be excited to use this in my nerf battles. I hope you enjoyed watching, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back here on the Foam Frontier.